Well, hello. Today, we're going to dive into Scratch and look at how to create a little program to get a character to move across our screen in all different directions using our keyboard. Then, we're also going to try to get our character to catch something. So let's dive in. So as you can see here, I have a Scratch window open. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bigger so you can see it. That's better. I'm going to take my sprite. I'm going to delete it. And then I'm going to add a new sprite of my choosing. We've done this before. So I think a, a bear would be good. So I'm going to put a bear in here. I'm going to shrink him down a little bit because I want to have some room on the screen. There we go. So I got my bear on the screen. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is add a background. And we've done this before. Let's see. Good place for a bear. Maybe a canyon. Oh, wow. That's too dark. Let's change it. How about a desert? That works. Put there. He's okay. Going to roam around the desert. So now what we're going to do is we are going to get our character to move uh, with the arrow keys. So to do that, I'm going to go into Control, which is right over here on the left. And at the bottom, oops, not Control, Events. Um, notice they changed the icons on our Scratch program to be, have these cute little cats on top. I thought that was really, really cute. But anyway, there is the second one down is when space key is pressed. Well, we're going to change it to the left arrow key and then we're going to do one for the right arrow key then we're going to do one for the up arrow and then we're going to do one for the down arrow and we want to get our character to move so to get it to move We're just going to have it move in 10 steps. And we're going to do that for all four of these. OK, hit the green flag. And now when I press the right arrow, he moves to the right. Left arrow. Oh, whoops, he doesn't move to the left. I forgot. I got to get him to fight, face the right way. See, if we just have him move 10 steps, he's not facing the right direction. So we're going to add in this block here, which is a point in direction. Now, in Scratch, one of the things we have to do is look at how things point. So I'm going to have them point in the 90 de degree direction. So you can see nothing happened. So the 90 degree direction is over here on the right hand side. If we want them to face down, that would be 180 degree direction. And then you can see now he faces down. So that would be good for the down arrow face down and move 180 degrees. If I want to get him to move to the right, I'm going to have him face the 90 degree direction. And then if I want to get him to move to the left, well, we'll have to pull up our little dial again. And I want to get him to move that way, which is negative 90. And then if I want to move him up, I am going to have him go in the zero direction. Okay. Now there are other ways of doing this. This is just one of the ways. But now I can see I can get my bear to move all the way around the screen. But notice when I move left and right, he goes upside down. I don't want him to go upside down. So one of the controls over here allows me to set it so when I move him, the rotation style is left to right rather than um, all around. So we're going to set that, and then I'm going to click it. And that's all you have to do is set it and click it once. And now we can see our bear. Oh, but wait. Now he doesn't face up and face down. Hmm. 
Well, when we do left and right, we want him to face left and right. When we want him to move up and down, well, we want him to set the rotation style to all around. So that way he can move up and down. Okay, let's see how we did with that now. Oh look, now he goes up and it looks like he's walking up. He goes down, he lo it looks like he's walking down, goes to the right, he looks like he's moving to the right, go to the left, he looks like he's moving to the left. That is fantastic. Now, the only other thing we need to do in here um, is to get our character to catch something. So to get our character to catch something, we're going to add another sprite in. Uh, let's see, how about an apple? That looks like a good thing for our character to catch. And that apple's pretty big, so we're going to shrink it down. That's kind of about the right size. And what we're going to do is next is we're going to get our apple to move around the screen. So I'm going to go to an event when green flag clicked. Now I want it to constantly move around the screen. So I'm going to put in a forever loop. And I'm going to have it glide so I can see it move. And I'm going to have a glide for one second. Now I'm going to change this to five seconds to slow it down. You can make it harder to do if you make it glide to a random position for less time. But I think five seconds is pretty good. And you can see the apple is now moving around the screen randomly every five seconds. So the goal of the game is going to be to get our bear to catch our apple. So that has to be some kind of event that we check for. So we have to see that if the bear is ever going to be actually touching our apple. I'm going to hit stop so I don't have my apple moving around the screen. And I'm going to do another event when green flag clicked. And this time, I'm going to put in a forever loop. There we go. Couldn't find it at first. And I'm going to have it test a conditional. Remember we talked about conditionals? We're looking to see if something is true. And if it's true, we're going to do some kind of thing. If it's not true, then we won't do that thing. So I'm going to put my conditional in. And I'm going to test, and I'm going to use my sensing region to test to see if our character is touching something. Hmm. Well, I think we want to see if it's touching the apple. So we're going to check to see if our bear is touching the apple. If it's touching the apple, let's play a sound. So let's go into our sounds. And I think a good sound for this might be a crunching sound. So effects, something that looks like it might be eating. Oh, no. Um, let's do that again. It looks like it's, we want some, oh, a bite. Okay, that sounds good. Cool, let's hear it. Okay, so we have our bite. Let me turn my sound on so you guys can hear the bite sound too. Let's see. Oh, I don't know why, oh, I have it on mute, that's why. Okay, so they got it. There we go. So now when he gets to the apple, we want him to play that bite sound. So we're going to change the sound to bite. And now we're going to play our game. And I have my bear. He's roaming around. Let's see if we can get him to get the apple. And he gets the apple. And every time he gets the apple, it plays the sound. So now that is how you are going to get your bear to roam around the screen and see if he can eat the apple. So your goal, your task, is to go ahead and try to recreate this yourself. Now, if you're stuck, 
Uh, I'm going to also give you a link to a tutorial inside of Scratch that you can use to help you build this application. Good luck. I'll see you next time. Oh, look at him eating those apples.